Hey guys, it's Katie Lendl here and in this video what I'm going to show you is how to create a logo with just a few simple clicks for your online store. If you already have a Groovecart account or planning on um, creating one, this training is going to be um, a great training for you to start with because that's where you would actually start setting up your online store by getting started with your logo. If you don't have a Groovecart account and you want to uh, learn more about it, um, go ahead and check out the link below this video. At the moment of me recording this video, Groovecart is not live yet, but you will be able to get on the early bird list and you'll be able to get notified when Groovecart goes live. Um, if it is live already, you'll be able to learn more about it, to check it out and get your own access to the Groovecart account so you can actually start setting up your own online store. All right, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that you would need to do is obviously log in into your Groovecard account. All right, I've just set this store up today. That's why you don't see any sales or anything here because it's brand new. Um, but I did want to start from the beginning and show you how to set up your online store. You know how to create a logo for it. Um, you know how to get started basically with Groove card. So today we are creating a logo with just a few simple clicks you'll be able to create and set up a logo for your store. All right the first thing that you would need to do is go to your um, profile here and obviously uh, register for training if you have not registered yet by clicking here. So you'll be able to get notifications when the new training comes up and things like that. Um, then you will have to go to join um, Groovecard Facebook uh, community group. So uh, you'll also be able to engage and interact with others and learn new things about Groovecard and things like that. All right, so I wanted to just bring this up for you guys really quick um, so you don't forget to do that. Um, and then the next thing what I'm going to show you is obviously how to create and set up a logo. So to do that, um, you will have to go to settings right here. Just click on settings. And this is where you would need to upload your logo. And in order to have a logo, obviously you need to create it. There's a few different ways of how you can create your logo for your store. One way is obviously to hire somebody um, by going to like fiverr.com um, and I will include these links below this video as well or upwork.com or somewhere like that. Um, but you can also create a logo in a simple way with just a few clicks um, by yourself. So if you want to do that, I will actually show you how to do that. So um, to do that, you would go to canva.com and you'll also see the link below this video. Canva is a free website where you create your own account and just create any kind of images and design you want. Um, so go ahead and create your, an account if you don't have one yet. Once you are logged in into your Canva account, what you would need to do is click on more right here and find um, a logo template here. So I'll click on logo. And as you can see, there is uh, a lot of different templates that you get over here where you can choose from and just edit this logo, you know, uh, exactly how you want it to look and um, your logo is gonna be ready. So what I'm going to choose is, um, I will go ahead and choose this one just to show you for an example, you know, of how you would create a logo. And I will go ahead and put the name of my store. As you can see, it's a little big, so I will go ahead and make it smaller. And I will also move this a little bit higher. If I want like a different image here, what I would do is um, since my store is going to be about um, beauty and apparel, um, I will go ahead and just um, search beauty in the search box here and see uh, what they have. And also I'll go ahead and choose illustrations. So, um, I mean, we can choose any kind of image we want and add it to our logo. If we want to add like a different image, we can even flip it. Uh, flip horizontally, let's say we want this image instead. So we can do something like that, but I don't really like this image. So we can choose any of these images here and, um, you know, add it here. 
Let's try this one here. I will also change the, the color of this. Um, if you don't have a color pick tool, that's another thing I would recommend uh, for you guys to get. It's an absolutely free plugin that you would get for Chrome. And the link is also um, below this video. So what I usually do with this tool, I um, match the colors. So I have it right here. And I just click on it and um, let's say I want, um, well, let's say I want this kind of color. So I would just copy this and just close this up and, um, you know, click on this and just click plus and paste that color here. If I don't like this color, I can definitely choose like a little bit darker color for my actual text. Hold on a second. Let me try a darker one. All right, copy, close, and let's add the darker one. I actually like this flower more, so I might just actually leave this one and just change the color to the darker one here. Um, I don't really like this background, so I will just, you know, click on it and just delete it. Um, let me just delete this flower as well. And uh, with this text, what I'm going to do is just um, type in um, beauty and apparel. All right. Let me just move it a little bit to this side. Also, if I want to try out different colors and things like that, um, I will. Uh, I can just click copy, so I don't have to mess around with this one. But I can see comparison and see which one I like more, um, and I can just change the colors. Let's just change this color really quick and see if we like it. Um, you know, with a different kind of color. Okay, and let's just copy again, and let's try a different color here. Okay. All right, so now we have a few choices that we can choose from. I actually think I like this one the most, so I will go ahead and just delete this right here and this one right here and there you go we have a logo created and what i'm going to do is download this logo as a png and i'll choose transparent background so let's download it and i'll just drag it to my desktop and let's go ahead and upload our logo here all right, let's also create a uh, favicon for our website. So uh, what we're going to do is just do the same thing, except, um, you know, create it in a little bit different way. So let's go back to Canva. Let's copy this and let's just work on our um, favicon image. And I will go ahead and um, just turn this and make it a little bigger. All right, this looks great. And let's go ahead and um, download. And upload our favicon here. So that's how you would create your logo for your online store and your favicon. And um, just go ahead and save it. If you want to learn more about GrooveCard, go ahead and check out the link below this video. Um, this is basically a competitor for Shopify. As you guys know, when you use Shopify, you do need, you know, all of these apps, you know, additional apps that you need to purchase and pay monthly for. Um, with GrooveCard, what, you know, the cool thing about GrooveCard is you already have all these apps that you're going to need inside of GrooveCard. And um, 
by the way, you know, if you want to have all of them that I have here, um, you know, the, the quicker you get into GrooveCard, the more chances that you're going to have these apps um, in your GrooveCard account and you wouldn't have to pay monthly for it. As you can see, you know, there's different, um, you know, apps that's already in GrooveCard that people actually pay separately for when they are using the Shopify platform. I haven't been using Shopify, but I've heard from um, people who are using Shopify and who are switching over to GrooveCard because of so many different things that GrooveCard has already inside of itself that Shopify doesn't or doesn't provide you know access to the apps for free you actually have to pay separately for it so um you know google analytics social proof pop-ups live chat winner coupon facebook pixels countdown timer stock countdown timer there's so many ally connect which is like one of my favorite ones um here and then you know so many different apps that's already in here that's integrated that you would just have to switch on and use. So if you want to create an online store of physical products that you want to sell online, um, GrooveCard is definitely the way to go and use as a platform for your online store. And I will also be coming out with you know, new trainings, new videos about GrooveCard and how to set up your online store and things like that. So go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet and go ahead and check out the link below this video to learn more about GrooveCard and to join the early bird list if uh, the GrooveCard is not live to the public yet. Alright, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.